Well, I'm Hamid from Iran. I've made a statue of my hero. Well, my hero doesn't exist. But this statue is a mixture of some heroes. Uh, and he's gonna change the way the world is going on. He's gonna, I mean, a <coughs> powerful person to just change the people's life. His hat representing Che Guevara's hat, because he has to be brave enough to change the world. His bird is uh, inspired by uh, <laughs> Leonardo da Vinci, because he should be intelligent enough to make decisions. He has a green head because he had to. He have to think green to, pres to pre preserve the earth. He wears in white, like Martin Luther King, because he's looking for peace, not war. And he has a big and powerful foot, inspired by Stephen Hawking. He was a paralyzed guy, but he went far beyond the borders of science. So it can represent him, because he has to go far distances than our own beliefs and our own borders. And this is the hero of mine. Hi, I'm Rashmi from India. Uh, I'm a civil engineer and I work in water resource management sector. So I deal a lot with uh, rainfall and you know the impact. Uh, talking about impact, this is the lady who's had one of the biggest impacts on my life. She is Savitri Bai Phule. Um, she started with her husband. She started the first school, female school in India, and she was the first female teacher in India in 1948. Now that's more than a century ago and uh, she's had um, a lot of struggles during her life so while she used to walk towards the school to teach uh, people used to throw stone and mud at her she was called a uh, bad name so th she had a bad reputation just because she is teaching and her family <laughs> disowned her but she and her husband Zoti Rao Phule, they stuck with each other and they continued to fight and and I always think that what, where would I be if she wouldn't have been, you know, learned or educated. So she plays very important role in my life. I've kept her face blank because I believe that every woman can fit into her role, and we all can be Savitri, and we all can start our own revolutions. So I am here at IHC trying to learn each and every bit of my uh, stay over here from all other nationalities. And I wish I, I could start some sort of revolt in my life. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Hello, my name is Maria. I'm from Brazil. And I chose my one of my professors in the university that's called Professor Jumar. And he was the, the first professor that told us about uh, going out university and making extension programs with people who needed more than uh, only staying in the university and the labs. So he had a hat like this one. So always I, when I think about him, I remember of his hat that he always had in, this, in his car. And he always was ready to go in the field, in the sun to talk to people and also um, know the real problems. So with him I started the project about uh, water supply and also sanitation. That's why I did this and uh, I went to a project in Northeast Brazil and I, I had a lot of uh, that I was in, inspired in his work and in what he's done with the community. So yeah, he, he inspires me a lot. Basically, I'm Genga from Kenya. My hero is my father. In front of me, you're not seeing my father. But I'm seeing an animal that my father used to own that showed us very many things. While I still consider my father as a hero, I refer to the animal that he used to keep at a tender age of seven, uh, seven years. This animal that was owned by my father 
used to wake up, wake us up in the morning. It used to follow us all the way up to the gate when you are going to school. And when you are coming back from school, it used to receive us from the gate, bring us back home to the house. One of the things that these animals stopped us from doing is to go fishing. The animal was against fishing. And wherever we tried to go fishing, it could stop us from the rear gate. But funny enough, it was interesting that it was always following us to go to school. And therefore, it means to us a lot that it was encouraging us to go to school. And from that kind of encouragement, we've seen that it was better to go to school than go fishing. So I still remember this animal for encouraging all our, 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 our brothers and sisters to go to school. And therefore, up to now, we are seeing the fruits of going to school. That was an encouragement from this animal. And we thank the animal very much. Thank you very much.